Welcome back, everybody. It is time to lock down another booster cracking Sunday. I wanted to jump into some more force of will this week, so we've got the Millennia of Ages. This is one that screwed over a lot of the local game stores and made them stop carrying this thing from the wild overprinting of the product. Yeah, it's become a pretty infamous set with Force of Will history, and it has some really cool cards in it, some really, really awesome cards. It's classic foiled stamp days, so that's something that we're going to try to find is all these nice foil stamps. But there's one card in particular that I want to be looking out for. I'm a big fan of Zero I in Force that. of Will. It's probably one of my top favorite characters in the Force of Will franchise. And I'm still missing a few of the nice full art versions of her cards. She's in many different sets and I have a lot of the different cards, but I don't have the Flashing Mage Warrior from this set. At least not in a full art stamp, that is. So we are going to be looking for zero today. It's not an expensive card, and by any means, not a lot in the set is expensive. So pricing is gonna be at a minimum just because they're not really highly valued. I would say the highest card is the zero card. I think it's only like a $5 card or something like that. Uh, and the rest are kind of just right under that basically for the other nice rare cards. In any case, it's still a really fun set to go through, so leave a like on the video if you enjoy Force of Will content, and make sure to subscribe so you don't miss any more of the unboxings we're gonna be doing very soon. We got a new set coming out this month. You're not gonna wanna miss that. Let's do it. Millennia of Ages, let's open this box up. It's not like the biggest of boxes. Well, it's a normal size box, but I don't know, everything seems smaller with this set because it is a smaller set, actually. There's not as many cards, and again, mixed with the overprinting and stuff, uh, it meant you only needed like one box to pretty much get everything you needed from this thing, which is hilarious. Uh, I don't believe there is a buy a box promo in these. This is kind of before they started really including them, I want to say. Which is a bummer, but there's some very pretty artwork here. We got, you know, Cayuga here, Kaiguya, and we got Lumia, stuff like that. Uh, who is that one again? I forget. But anyways, let's get into this thing here. Let's open up these packs. Starting with our first one here. Now, do we get... Oh yeah, we got some Cthulhu cards in here. Very nice. Gotta remember those. And we are gonna go through a little bit, but then we're gonna start cruising, because we're gonna start seeing duplicates pretty darn fast. All right, super rare. We got Milus, and then we've got Mount Immortal with Blazer behind it. What is going on with these? Oh yeah, Uncommons. Oh yeah, they switched up how they did the ordering. And my apologies for my voice. Uh, it is going right now. It's allergy season for me, which is a constant in my life, but you know, it is what it is. But we got Lisa Viedrazil. We've got Grubasol, Grubastula, Keeper of the Magic Stones and Refarth the Wind Castle with another blazer. Okay, see, already starting to see those doubles. Nothing of huge interest yet, but don't worry. Once we start getting going on the stamp foilings, we're just gonna keep pulling them, you know what I mean? Dark Pulse, we got Temporal Spell, Little Red, oh, that is nice. Nice one to get in a foil. Ooh, with Naralethotep the Usurper. This is one I need to get in a nice stamped as well. Another one to hunt for. Ooh, my voice really is going, holy crap. Crap. All right, Mount Immortal. We've got Book, whatever, whatever, House of the Old Man. We've got Ghost Flame. Super Rare is a nice foil of Milus, the Invisible Ghostly Flame. Very nice. And then we got Felsting, the Elvish Oracle. Sweet. Hey, uh, all right, come on. Give me the Zero, the Flashing Mage Warrior. Am I just going to start skipping now? Nah, we'll, we'll run through it. We'll run through it. All right, we got... What is this one? Alice's Soldier? Lame, but hey, there's our girl right here. Zero the Flashing Mage Warrior. We need you in a full art stamped. Let's get it. Come on. We'll keep that here as a reminder of what we're looking out for. Let's go. No stamps yet, but come on. Let's see it. Let's see it. What do we got? Mounts. We got Millennia. Shining Bambooba. And we've got Melfi, successor of Sacred Wind, and we've got Lunya, the Liar Girl. She's a cool character. What happened to her? Did she die? All right, come on. Let's see it. Pandora's Box of Hope. Classic. We love the Pandoras over here. Book. And we got Grubastula again. And we got Mount Immortal. Didn't we already get a foil of this with Falsing behind it? Into the next one, though. We shall see what we got. Ghostly Flame, Do Out of Light. Oh, do out of light. That's a reprint from this one. I didn't realize that. Mozart, the queen of the fantasy world. Sweet. Uh, Mo, what was that one? The duet of light. Yeah, I just got the promo card for this, actually. 
I'd even see Zero hiding in here in the background, but the promo of this, the new promo, maybe I'll show a picture of it. Really, really dope promo. And is that or is that the last? I am missing one of the promos. There's a bunch of duets with Zero on it, and they just came out with new promos. They're really cool. I, I think I'm missing one. We'll see. We'll see. I'll show a picture if I have it. Really cool card, though. Transparent Moon is our foil with another blazer. You can see such a small set. You're just going to get, I mean, this is our third blazer. We're barely into the box. That's crazy. I need to drink some water for my voice. All right. What do we got in this one? Love this card. This one's such a neat looking card. And we've got Mount Immortal. Sick of seeing that one already. But a nice Pandora Princess of History Chanter as a nice foiling really really sick card just uncommon though but it is nice melfi successor and bang all right come on let's see it we're just gonna go like that oh we got even what is that one is that a common that's our rare yeah we're just gonna scroll through like that even the mage all right let's see it the next one what do we got B -b -b bang oh we got kaiguya that's nice kaiguya the cover girl herself tail of the bamboo cutter with a what does that say? Fealty movement in the outer world. Huh. Oh, I, I just pulled away the card and we have another flashing mage warrior here, which is funny. Oh, Lumia is an uncommon. Oh, I didn't realize that. That's funny. All right, we're going to add it to the stack. Let's see how many zeros we can pull. Zero is just a rare, so chances of getting a few of her are pretty high. Ooh, I think we see a foil stamp coming up. Let's see it. Let's see it. Ba-bang, Grubastula, foil stamp, the keeper of the magic stone, our first foil stamp now we're gonna get going now it's about to pop off next one let's go and we shall see the transparent moon alice's pursuit we got this common and bang yes Illumia in a foil let's go that is sick i love her card i love her artwork she's always got some really nice artwork and was that one behind it nothing really nothing Okay, all right, let's see what we have here. We've got Alice's Pursuit, Ritual, and Grubastula. <laughs> man, oh man, how many have we gotten of him now, too? We're, I think we're beating out our blazer now with that guy. Give me some more foil stamp, though, will ya? All right, come on. I don't think I'll ever get Millennia of Ages again. I just want my zero card, and that's it, and then I want to be done with this set, because, yeah, I've Got way too many duplicates of all of these cards now. <laughs> oh boy, here we, ooh, ooh, got back, got back, got back, got back. Oh my gosh, it's got back, it's got back. Give me, give me some better light here. Can I, can I get some better light? Come on, let's see it, all right. But the lighting isn't gonna work with me very well, but that is okay. We got a god pack, let's go. This is our best chance right here to get some amazing cards. We got Mojart, queen of the fantasy world in a foil. Super rare. Oh boy, we got my list, the Invisible Ghostly Flame. Hell yeah, we got Cayuga, the Tale of the Ram Rambo? Rambo Cutter, <laughs> the Bamboo Cutter. There we go, Grubastula. We just got you, we just pulled you. We just need that zero. Shezerod, we have the Te Teller of the Crimson Moon. All of these are foils. This is a god pack. Oh baby, Mojar, Queen of the Fantasy World in a foil stamp. Let's go, we still got a few more cards. This is fantastic. Lovely card to get in a foiled stamp, by the way. Not worth anything, but I'm just such a big fan of this artwork. So let's keep going. My list in a very nice foil stamped. Let's go. Oh, Kaiguya, the tail of the bamboo cutter. Are we just repeating everything we just got? Give me something. Give me zero. Ah, oh, my gosh. Grubastula in a foil stamped again. All right. And then Shezerod. That is so interesting, actually. Foil stamped to Shezerod. So our entire pack just duplicated itself. We got the normal foils and then all the foil stamps of this God Pack. I don't know if I noticed that or if I've even pulled a God Pack, but is that how they did God Packs in this one? That's pretty wild. They just gave you like five foils and then five foil stamps of the same card. Interesting. Okay, but uh, that's a good little God Pack. Now, I'm just hoping for good things with the zero let's go come on we already got our hefty handful but there's an arlethotep the usurpa foil not great foiling in this set unless it is that foil stamped unfortunately okay have you ever seen a box with two god packs what if we got a second one that'd be absolutely insane wormhole leaves mylas the ghostly flame and shining bamboya 
All right, let's go. We got Pandora's Box of Hope. How many times did we open up to that card specifically? Temporal, and then we got Pandora. Foil again, very nice, with another little red. Zero, zero, where's my zero, zero, zero? Where is my zero? Wind, ritual, uh, what, what is this new? Amano Habed Kiri. And then we got Alice's Pursuit, very nice, with a little, little red. <laughs> Oh, yeah. Seeing that many doubles in a box can make you go a little insane. All right, I did a good skip on that one. Dark Pulse, uh, maybe not. Okay, Lunia, the Liar Girl, as our foil. And then we got Almaras Magnus of Light. Let's see it. We've got Alice's Pursuit as a common. Fatal Move, Lens of Jadrazo, Lens. Lens, Dark Pulse. And, woo, Eben the Mage in the foil, Stampy Boy. Oh, it's a rare slot. Is that going to take away from our chances with zero? I sure hope not. How many zeros are in a box? I don't know if I've ever counted, and obviously I don't think God Packs count towards that count. We got Almaris, Magus of Light, and then we got Melfi again. Beautiful card. Next up, let's see it. We've got Millennia. We're just gonna go right here and then see what our foil stamp is. It's the Fantasy Dragon. Purple Malist, Purple Misty. Purple Mist, the Fantasy Dragon, foil stamped with the Felsing on the end. All right, all right. Unfortunately, Purple Boy over here was another rare foil stamp. So let's keep cruising, see what we can see. I do see another stamped in this one, I think. Hoo-ya! Kaiguya again, the Bamboo Cutter in a foil stamped. Two for two, zero. Our third zero. My goodness, let's uh, clear the space and add zero to the little counter here. Put our double up on Kaiguya right there. Kaiguya is not a bad pull in a foil stamp. Obviously, uh, we need that zero though. We definitely need the zero. All right, next one though, we're gonna go into this. I don't think we got, oh, oh man, so close. Yet so far, ah, it's such a cool card though. Foil version of it. Ah, and our fourth copy at that foil version of zero. We got full play set in one box. I mean, look at that. That's insane. Full play set of zero, the flashing mage warrior. Can we get a fifth to seal us off here? We got Grubastula again. We're gonna have to count our Grubastulas because that's insane. Even the mage again. Next, let's see it. We're gonna pop right through two. We got, who are you? Tenfist sword, foil. Interesting. I don't remember that one. Little red again. Next up, let's see it. Ooh, this one was... Sticking out the top here. Let's go to ba bang Transparent Moon foil with a Melfi. Next one. Let's go. Come on. We're flying now. We're flying. You've seen all the cards plenty of times. Emissary of another dimension foil and a blazer. Next one. Let's see it. We got book and we've got yes. Yes, Martha. Yes. Oh my gosh. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go, dude. Zero, the flashing mage warrior, full art, stamped in all her glory. Oh my gosh, look at that sick, sick card, dude. Wow, that card is freaking awesome. Holy cow. That is so sick, man. This card is so sick. And obviously, it's got the legendary promo card uh, with the big old booty. Uh, but this is the original run here. Ah, it's such a lovely card. Such a nice dynamic pose to it. And the full art stamped. Oh, mm, yes. I'm so happy right now that we got this. This is it for me with uh, Millennia of Ages. I, I am no longer willing to buy another box of these at this point. So there is no reason for me. There's not even uber rares in this set, honestly. Uh, so you can't even like go for a cool chase card. It's just kind of was supposed to be a set that would make sure you get what you needed. But this is such a legendary card. And I finally have the nice Full art stamped. Let's go. Five zeros so far from the box. Uh, I wonder if zero is competing with Grubastula here because we've gotten quite a bit of that. Quite a bit of Kaguya too. There's a nice foil of her as well. And you know what? This was right at the end of the box. We only have like four more packs. So we pulled that zero right at the last second. Pandora's box of hope foil. So listen, I'm not going to keep you guys too much longer here because this is pretty much the end of the box with an upside down rare okay 
I may go count my Grubastulas here and see who won out for most cards pulled. Book of Eben and then Bla Blazer again. Last one. Let's just be done with it. We got what we came for with the box. Mission complete. Well, that's our last card. It's a Blazer foil. Of course it is. Of course it's a Blazer foil. He's such a creepy looking clown, man. One of his better artworks in my opinion, though. I think this one's really nice for his uh, character profile. Grubastula definitely won out. We got seven copies of him total, just two regular. We got three foils and then two foiled stamps of Grubastula. So it won over zero. The God Pack definitely helped with that because we got two copies here. So it came pretty close. They would have been tied, but the God Pack sent it over the edge with these guys. But holy crap, man. Nice God Pack. Hitting the God Packs. Getting the zeros. Getting the foil stamp zero. So cool. So, so cool. First of all, I gotta hand it to you. You always remain to be a really fun TCG to open up, and hopefully you guys enjoyed the video as well. If you did, again, subscribe for more content. Leave a comment down below with what sets you would want to see me open up next. Look for more of A New World Emerges, because I am still hunting for some awesome secret rares. And once again, we got a new set coming out in just a few weeks, Secrets of the Underworld. I'm very, very stoked for that one as well, so you're not going to want to miss the unboxings we do for that. Thank you guys for watching all the way to the end. We will see you in the next video.